So, Gisablot CCK, and uh, we'll try to be understable. <laughs> it's not very easy for us to, to talk in English because we are French. So, <laughs> as known, we don't know foreign language. So, to begin, um, Gisablot CCK is a content construction kit. So it's a concept shared by uh, a lot of applications. And um, what is a content construction kit? It simply allows you to build content types in order to, to uh, implement uh, advanced content uh, websites. And uh, we'll see in, uh, in detail uh, what is a content uh, type. Just to have a, a global overview of uh, our CCK, it's so open source, GPL, it's free Joomla extension, it's uh, fully integrated to Joomla, it uses uh, com content, so there is no hack, compatible with all extension, we will see in details that you don't have to change your way to develop websites you'll be able to uh, continue to use uh, app extensions uh, such as uh, Safe, such as uh, Foca Gallery or uh, Zoomfish. You have the possibility uh, of front-end submission, a huge list of field types, a community manager allowing you to add uh, fields to the reg registration, uh, amazing search features, what is uh, needed uh, in uh, projects uh, with uh, a lot of articles, and um, so powerful templates and uh, CCK packs. What is CCK packs? Uh, it's uh, the same concept uh, as uh, application uh, for Zoo, if you know uh, this other CCK. So a CCK pack contains a list of fields and the, the template associated so that you can uh, just install it on uh, your website to use it directly. Okay? Joom start? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> the content type, so as I said, uh, it's uh, defined by a, a set of fields. Our content types uh, can be used uh, in Joomla Article Manager, so it's fully integrated, uh, as I said. Uh, in Joomla Category Manager, too, and in the Joomla User Manager, so uh, you can see your personal content. It's, uh, it's allowed. Uh, the other uh, application, as I said, uh, the other extensions which uh, can be called uh, in the, the different fields. So, uh, for example, you have a Joomfish, Virtua, Virtua Mart Shop, Foca Gallery, and K2. We can see it in a uh, live example. It will be uh, the easiest way to, to show you what is possible, okay? If we have a connection. To switch on the seat. On va essayer de montrer. Euh, essayer de montrer euh, Galerie Images de Ferme. So we'll begin with a, a simple content type for a, a gallery, art gallery. So here is a front end where you can uh, have just a simple presentation uh, of the gallery and all the artists. So one content type is the, the artist which uh, expose uh, the, at the gallery. And so you have <coughs> the possibility to uh, present all the photography of the, the, the artist using Foca Gallery. You have uh, the possibility to, uh, to uh, put the, its biography, exhibitions, publications, and photo formats. And so 
all these informations are concentrated in uh, one uh, one form that we uh, we will see now by the administration side we will show you the content tip corresponding to the page we we just saw so you will see the same the same uh, informations in the administration side and each time you have a, a photograph you have uh, the title elle était photographiste et avant c'était series you have so the the title of the photograph and the photo gallery image button allowing you to have the presentation in the front end okay so we will show you in details how uh, our content types are uh, are implemented <laughs> Okay, hello. Uh, so sorry for my English, and if you don't understand me, please stop me. <laughs> um, just uh, details uh, about this uh, website. You see there is uh, French and English language. So this is managed uh, with uh, Joomfish, and we have uh, do um, a very nice um, integration of Zoomfish directly in the in the article manager so you um, you can stay on the administration to manage all your language if you click like this in uh, in um, um, in the article here we are with the french language i check this box for the english i click on the arrow and I switch on the other language. So it's very easy to manage all uh, your language and directly in uh, content, uh, in the article manager. Uh, all is done in GCSK to, to save a lot of time, uh, more for our client than us. And all this is managed with uh, Zoomfish, and you can, um, you will see that uh, you can manage uh, a lot of form, and uh, form uh, you, you you can too uh, translate all form with Zoomfish. Okay, now um, I see you. Um, I show you uh, a little example uh, to build a content tip. Uh, and to do then uh, a search form about this content tip. So, when you install uh, GCOTCK, you have to um, um, uh, extended admin menu, uh, so you can use it or not. Um, we will go in the administration. You see <coughs> there is um, uh, five big concepts uh, in GCOTCK. Template, to manage all templates, we will see how content types, fields, search tips, and pack. Pack is to import and export all your work with GCOTCK. So, we will go in content types and we will try to create quickly a content tips. So GNB on content tip. Just put a title and on the right you will see um, four panels. Um, at first we look only on admin form. So why admin form? Is the here uh, you can put uh, your field so, I will create quickly a field for my title. Automatically, is filled. You can all organize uh, templates, fields, content type in a nested category. 
Why? Because uh, we have some websites with 100 content, uh, different content types. So all is built in GCWT SSK to manage a lot of content types. So it's very uh, useful when you have a lot of elements to, uh, to have this category. So at first, you, you can just use the quick category. It's uh, very easy. So I select text. You will see that uh, in GCWT SSK there is uh, a lot of uh, um, field tips. You have, of course, all HTML, uh, classical field tips, but uh, many other and many advanced. So, text. This uh, content uh, below is, uh, is uh, lo loading um, with Ajax, like uh, all form in the administration. Just here, we will choose as title to say that this field uh, will be the title of your content. Save. Okay, I see my field. I quite quickly add some other field. Checkbox. Okay. Add option. Sorry, this is my idea. <laughs> Up. Okay, you had a, a lot uh, of options for each um, um, field tips, and so um, it takes a lot, lot of time to, uh, to discover all. I do this quickly. Checkbox, okay. Someone want uh, some particular field? Video. Video, we can do this, but with a, a content plugin. Uh, if, I, uh, if I have uh, time, I will show you. And we have some examples. Okay, other, simple. <laughs> Another ID. <laughs> okay. Uh, date, yes. Uh, calendar. Oh, this one. Okay. You will see uh, some parameters. Save. Okay. Mm, just a draw them. You have um, many um, different drop done. Uh, we will use, for example, mm, mm, mm. Select numeric, you have select multiple for multiple choice, like a checkbox. You have a dynamic select uh, if you want to take uh, some data directly from a table um, in your database. Select numeric is simple to do uh, a list of number. The first number, we start with the one, the step, one or two or three is what you want. For example, I save. Okay, I click on save here. I have created my first content tip. I will see now directly in the article manager. We click on new and we can select our new content tips. We see our field. It's the integration of GCBOT SSK uh, is the only SSK like this to use um, clearly to uh, Joomla. Um, all is integrated in Joomla. Uh, if you use the GCBOT SSK uh, in category manager, it's the same. Is user manager is the same. So our clients use always the same interface and so it's easy for us. And the very nice thing um, is that uh, there is a lot of field in the Joomla core, uh, in article, uh, 
many users don't use uh, this. Well, example, uh, display a win more or not, uh, display this or this, and so. So you can uh, have a very light and very easy form directly in your article manager. And uh, um, everybody can feel this then. So it's, it's very, very easy to, uh, to explain uh, the, uh, how it works for all our clients. So my title, okay, Zuper, date, option, you see the drop down, numeric drop down, okay, I save. By de default, um, the content is saved in a GCBlood uh, default submission category, but of course you can um, uh, decide to save your content what you want. We can display section, category here directly, so you select your section and your, your category. You can define um, some predefined category, so you authorize only to save in this and this and this category. You can do a lot of things. We save. Okay, I see default submission, my title, okay. We will see on the front end, my title. Okay, the field. Here, it's only display with a basic uh, template. This is the de default template. So only your field uh, like this. You have an advanced um, template, just I think so. I edit my content type and choose and select uh, other template only for the for to display the content. And you will see then you have uh, some template for your form too. And uh, you can too um, have a design for all your template in your administration, in your seat, in fr in front end. So you can design what you want. Up, save. So this advanced template display only the labels, and so. And you will see that in your template you can call everything of a field. Okay, the label, title, description. Uh, if you have any attributes, like for the uh, upload image. Uh, you can um, call thumb mail, and so you can call all attributes of all field types. Yes? So you can use all the extra Yes. But yes, but you, if I, you can call yes on uh, each field by each field, mm -hmm. and uh, and you can call if you want all fields. Okay, okay. You, you you can do the both, and in the next version there is a, a new field to group some fields, and uh, a nice feature about this is uh, a group of fields will be repeatable directly in your form. So if you want, you, um, you click on the plus button and you, uh, you, you, you add uh, a group of fields. We'll see. Ouais. Ouais. Um, ah. Your question is um, that you want display only, uh, um, only fields that you choose? Yes. When you uh, want to call a separate field in a template, in one group, but the separate fields, then it's no problem. And my question is, can you call separate fields? Yeah, so no, in, in GCBlood, you can call easily 
all filled separately. And this is uh, because in, in K2, uh, there is only group uh, uh, of fields. This is not the same in GSTK. All fields are independent, so you can call them independently, and you can call them in group. There is both. Okay, so uh, we have seen the form in AMA question quickly, and of course, you can insert in your form all uh, old core fields from Joomla. So, publish, unpublish, uh, category, section, all. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. For the date? Yes, automatically. Uh, merci, Manu. Uh, thanks, Manu. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, yes, exactly. Yes. Uh, so there is um, some field from the core uh, which are required always, like title. So it's only the the the, the required field. But uh, you have some, for example, uh, that uh, created that, and automatically the created that is created. Uh, which is what say okay. So all is um, all is due to respect all the Joomla core. And so if if there is, uh, for example, other example of field with the it uh, it is a, is a field to uh, to to um, to count the view of article, it's managed to automatically. So if you want then to display it, you can uh, display it. But you can too display or not what you want. Okay. Yes, clear. You have, by default, um, a category. Uh, content fields which contains all fields f uh, from the core. So uh, you can use uh, them uh, directly and, and add them. So for example, content category ID is a drop down to select a category and we will add to section drop down. Up. And the date, for example, create date content created. The, the name of this field is the name of the field in the d d database of, uh, in Joomla. Okay. All fields are like this. You put or you don't put, okay? So it's, uh, it's very nice because, for example, in Joomla 1.6, uh, uh, this is with uh, ACL feature. There is a lot of field, and this is not very, very easy to use all this. So if you want, you, uh, you, you delete this, and for your clients, you have no question 
and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's always uh, easy. Okay? Yes. Yes, you can assign uh, um, for a category a content types if you want, but you can, in the same category, have many content types if you want. You, you, in all, uh, um, I don't know if I, if I have good understanding on you. Can you repeat, please? You, um, not for section, but for category, yes. Okay. Why? Because in Joomla 1.6, there is no more section, so we have, uh, we don't want uh, to do a work about section because it, it disappears then. But you can uh, uh, assign a content tips for a category. Yeah. So, for example, you are in this category, you click on new button, and you are directly in the content tip of your choice. Okay. Um, the, the, la plupart de. the most of uh, CCK uh, work to assign a content tip for, a, for one category. You have one category for news, one, and, and so on. You can do the same with GC about CCK, but uh, in practice, it's also um, useful to can manage many content types in the same uh, uh, category. For example, uh, you have um, many news content types with small difference between, but you want to manage all these content types in your uh, news category. You can do so. So, uh, we have seen the, the form on the administration, and very quickly we will see the form on the, on the, on the front end. You have here the seed form panel. <coughs> By default, it's empty. Okay. You have a button here. I click all to select all field and sit. So now I am in seed form and I have my, uh, all my field. Um, a nice feature too is that you can have some different fields in your administration form and in your front end form. It's very useful because um, um, uh, often uh, there is some field you, you only for the administrator and not for the, for, for the end user and so. So, for example, for the front-end form, we'll delete this field. We have just to add a submit button. The submit button is um, automatic managed in administration form, but not in front-end, because uh, you can uh, insert uh, different um, uh, submission button. And in the administration, the submission button is on the top, on the toolbar, with save, apply, and so. So I hide this field. OK, I save. Now I do a link to this form in my front, seat, in my front end. Sorry. New. You will see in GCBLT SK a lot of um, money link. Uh, at first, simple article submission layout, so to display your form of your content. Okay, I select GNB on content tip, automatically filled. You can too assign a other template only for this menu. And you will see uh, there is. Uh, a lot of features in GTB SDK is very difficult uh, to have uh, a short over, uh, overview uh, of all. But for template, you can, too, um, you can have one content 
and many um, display of the same content uh, with many temp uh, templates. For example, you have uh, a film content tip and sometimes you want to display only uh, three fields of these content tips. Uh, other time, uh, seven uh, fields of these content tips with a, the presentation, a, a different presentation. And so you can do so. And this is uh, always the, uh, the same content tip, but the display is different. It's just an example. Okay. So, uh, by default, you must be registered, registered uh, to see the form, but you can uh, manage to um, uh, form for visitor. Uh, so you will see some example. Uh, a contact form is easy. You can manage uh, this, and uh, there is no uh, p um, um, no registration needed. So. GN beyond content type and I have my form uh, on the front end and you see here only the field I choose for the front end and the administration form have more field for example okay I will um, date. I save it. All form have um, a JavaScript validator uh, when the field is required and some Ajax system behind this to have uh, a nice uh, effect. So, here, I, uh, no, I, I submit some of my, form, my, uh, my content. I can look on Amy Schwenson, my title without the, the T, so it's my, uh, is it? Hop, I can edit, okay. You can have a little preview and quick preview directly in the, in the administration. And for example, you can decide that in your front end form, to unpublish the content because you want um, um, to have some moderation system. So, simple, you select uh, in GCOT SSK, uh, unpublish when uh, a user submits uh, the form, and then you can publish uh, in your administration and decide to display or not uh, this uh, content um, on, uh, on the front end. Okay. So, an example, um, some example um, of uh, uh, content types, you will see artist with gallery image de fer, you will see uh, other, so, um, is, up, sorry, maybe directly, yes. Great. It's uh, an example of a website uh, to manage um, some property uh, for uh, for um, uh, agence immobilière. Real estate. Uh, Real estate. Yes, exactly. All. All content are managed with JSONSK, and a very powerful things. Here, for example, this slideshow is your carousel from UTEM. And you see your own content in two. All modules, all plug, uh, content plugin, for, um, for example, to manage uh, a Google map and so, all are compatible. So you will see that it's, um, it's crazy because you, uh, you, you can always find a solution to your specific problem. That's why we, uh, we do this. An example of 
of uh, contain types. So you will see directly the Google Maps and the Google, Google Maps uh, take directly the address, um, um, uh, country, and so field and, uh, and uh, display uh, this, uh, this map. You can see so um, here a form. This form is managed with GCBSSIK, of course, and uh, automatically this form um, get the email of the um, of the. How do you say? The, the form is sent to the the concerned the commercial service, and it's uh, the email is uh, is taken is uh, is taken in the Don't in the correspondent uh, commercial contact. So for each apartment, if you if you fill the form, you send it to the uh, the correct commercial. An example of. Gary, all light box effect uh, when you work with Woketem, Utem, uh, uh, Joomla Art, um, and so, all these effects, you can use them uh, directly in your content tips, um, in your template. It's very easy to do this. Okay, I will show you quickly um, search feature. Um, we have built a very advanced search feature. Uh, I show you the simple way, and then I show you what you can uh, have. So, so um, search types. I delete this. Up. Okay, new. You have, when you uh, built um, a search tip, uh, a quick way is with auto tip. You select your content tip, you save. Okay, automatically, a lot of things are filled. You have here, a list panel and a search panel. List panel is to have a predefined criteria in your search. For example, you do a search form, but you want that this form search only in the G and Beyond content types. You want that, uh, that uh, this uh, search form search automatically only in publish content also. You can have, sorry, you can have um, a predefined criteria. So with search tip, you can manage a list of content with predefined criteria, and you can manage a form, search form. Okay, in search, we will add quickly some uh, some field. Okay, just mm. Mm. Um. and a button submit. Okay. You can display your result with the intro text of your uh, content because you have SIK manage to the win more uh, feature. You can display the full text. Okay. But there is other um, display which are very useful. And which one is to display uh, your result in a table uh, with some header. And all this is automatic. You select here custom text and you have a new content panel 
um, to uh, uh, which is display. I will select in this. I want to show my title and only my title and only my checkbox in your result and not the other field. Okay. I do quickly because uh, there is um, not a lot of time. Up my title, I want to have a link to my title to display the full article. I save. Up main menu. I create. Mm -mm -mm. A link to my search form. Okay, search, apply. Hop, search. I have directly my uh, search form. Uh, you can select, uh, I think we have super. Oh, yes, super. Okay. And you see directly your field here. It's very easy. to change my title, my checkbox. Okay. Now I want to display to the drop down. Apply. Drop down. Wait. Okay. Yes. Um, so you can. Um, uh, there is not exactly the or or end operator, but you will see that you can do amazing um, uh, search form. Uh, for example, for a price, uh, you can have a price between this and between this. Uh, you can uh, have a field which search only in this, this, this field, and you choose uh, this field. You, you, you can have a checkbox field in your administration form, and you want to display this, um, this, uh, this uh, field in a multiple drop down box uh, in your uh, search form. You can do this with some alias and so. You will see that uh, you uh, you can uh, almost build all advanced uh, search form, and uh, with some condition in the next uh, future, uh, in the next version, we have some uh, some things about this. Okay, and you can too uh, order your your result uh, uh, if you want to see in your result um, at first. Uh, 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 result which have this field with a certain value, you can do this. Uh, so there is um, a system of, priori of priority um, in, in, your, uh, in your result. Okay. Um, so maybe, yes, okay. We will come back on the, um, yes, for the one map. And just a precision, um, all Joomla link, uh, article, um, category, blog, section, and this, all this link work with your content in GCBot CCK. All you do with Joomla work with GCBot CCK. Okay. So in... Okay, uh, it's very difficult to, uh, to, uh, to, to show you all um, about compatibility. Uh, to, uh, the, you can use GCO CCK in Virtual Mart to add some fields uh, for your product in Virtual Mart and so. Uh, for the one map, uh, so 
Of course, uh, we work, we are working on documentation. Uh, the, um, the community ask, uh, ask it, uh, um, and uh, we do. There is, uh, we work, we are working on a big project uh, between uh, SAP, uh, I don't know if you know, it's a big uh, ERP software uh, to manage all uh, product of big enterprise. And we do uh, a bridge, um, so between SAP, GCBotSSK, and Joomla. With web services, uh, so uh, it would be an add-on. It uses SOAP protocol, so it's very technique, um, but, uh, but uh, beautiful. We work for the same project too, um, on an e-commerce add-on. Um, not classical way to, uh, to manage e-commerce. It's uh, oriented for professional. Uh, for example, you will be able to manage multi-shopping cart uh, in big enterprise. Uh, you have often um, a senior buyer and junior buyer. The senior buyer uh, will be able to see a shopping cart from uh, a junior buyer, and so. Uh, this is um, this e-commerce add-on is uh, is made also to um, each uh, user can have their own uh, custom catalog of product. Uh, for example, with the price, uh, with the product, because uh, this product is only for this big client uh, when you work with uh, with uh, with big enterprise, and. Uh, so you can affect this catalog for your user and automatically in the, in the front end, all search features will uh, search only in the catalog of, of the user and not in the generic catalog and so. Uh, like I, I said, um, uh, there is a, a, new, a new concept with group of fields and uh, it's very interesting to group of fields, it's not new, but uh, to whip it uh, directly the group of fields in your form, uh, it's, uh, it, it's new and uh, it's, uh, it's uh, a big need. Um, there is too uh, uh, some uh, special uh, PHP code field. Uh, you will be able with this to uh, interact uh, in the form submission and change what you want before, before save your content or after saved uh, the content. We will do some effort too in drag and drop inter interface. Uh, for example, for group, and uh, there is uh, two um, uh, other features about this. Search, increase, and so. Okay, uh, in 1.6, uh, uh, a lot of people uh, wait GCBLT um, uh, for the next version of Joomla because we use uh, Joomla, and we are the only one to be integrated. Um, and so, with the same way, uh, we will be able to use the uh, ACL system uh, from Joomla 1.6 with all the future. Uh, it's, it will be really amazing uh, because you, you will be able to do all things uh, uh, between your content ifs, uh, your field, and all uh, ACL system of, uh, of uh, Joomla. Okay, uh, so of course, Multools uh, 1.2 integration with some new uh, JavaScript effects for tooltip, for so. Uh, GForm API implementation, so uh, with the new form validator from uh, Joomla 1.6. Um, of course, we use uh, the nested uh, category of um, uh, uh, of the next version of Joomla. We have a system uh, of nested category in, uh, in, um, with GCBOT CZK today, but it will be uh, increased with this new system of, uh, of Joomla. Uh, we will add two um, user group manager directly in front end, um, and there is a lot of chance we will all do um, the multi-categorization too. So you will be able to affect uh, uh, article, uh, content to many categories. Okay. You will be able to, to, to store your contents in independent database. 
uh, a table that you, uh, that you chose. Yes, it's then. Thank you. And uh, the compatibility in quiz. And a lot of other things. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you.